Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all the books that I read in the month of September. In this month, I read five books. Well, I listened to three books and two of them I have here as physical copies that I read. And two of them were non-fiction and the rest, the three of them were fiction. And we're starting with be Not Afraid of Love, Lessons on Fear, Intimacy and Connection. And I saw this on Instagram and I immediately felt connected to it because sometimes love is scary and then I was like, okay, I need to read this book. It is declared as a self-help slash memoir and I absolutely loved it. It is written by a survivor of intimate partner abuse, so definitely trigger warning for that, but it also says it in the book, like the trigger warning parts. The book is organized in different chapters in the way that the author went through the abuse, kind of. So first is numbness, then anger, then anxiety, then grief, distrust, shame, presence, community, miracle, and love. And I absolutely love that. And as you can see, I highlighted a lot of things. This book is not only focusing on the abuse part, it is so much more than that. It is also covering the intersections of love and fear, self-esteem, friendship, family dynamics, and romantic relationships. It is also reflecting on in general like hierarchies and social and political realms and I really really love that. I learned a lot. I annotated a lot as you can see and I would really highly recommend it if all of that sounds interesting to you honestly. And as you might guess I gave it five stars because I just really really loved this book and I think a lot of people would benefit from that so go check it out. I also pre-ordered this because I was so excited to read it and I read it like in a few days and I loved it. Also if you tend to not like self-help books I still would recommend this to you because it's also like a memoir and it doesn't feel this self-help book-ish way that is sometimes or can be sometimes really problematic because this is really good. And the next book I listen to as an audiobook and I'm talking about Margaret and the Mystery of the Missing Body and I also really like this one. It is a fiction coming of age story. It is queer, it is trans, it is written by a trans author, it is really really weird. It is contemporary but there are elements that are fantasy-ish or just weird. Really really unique, I never read anything like that. But I have to say a huge trigger warning for eating disorders because part of it is literally placed in a facility where people are with eating disorders. Forgot the name but I hope you get what I mean. So definitely trigger warning for eating disorders, body shaming and everything that comes with that. It is featuring topics like girlhood, growing up, nostalgia, but also dysmorphia and dysphoria. And I think it's also a commentary on how girls are treated in the society and yeah the systemic issues that come with that in a way. It is obviously talking about eating disorders so yeah it was a little bit hard for me sometimes to listen to that because of that topic but in general I absolutely loved it and five stars. I, I love I love their work. I want to read more. The next book is a sequel so I'm gonna Keep it short and try not to spoil anything. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm talking about a prayer for the crown chai. It is from the monk and robot series. It is the second part. Something about this series is just I love it. I literally love it. It's like a comfort blanket to me. Listening to it is like as if I have a blanket wrapped around me and a hot tea sitting next to me waiting for me to be drinking it, you know? That is the amount of comfort that I get from listening to this audiobook, so please check it out if you want to have something cozy where you just feel good when you listen to it, you know? Because that is it. I love it. Sibling Dex and Moscap, the robot, 
in the first part they met and it was the first time after like centuries that robots and humans met again in the first book we also like kind of followed them traveling and everything and the second part is kind of like just the sequel to that it is a utopia but it's really hopeful because usually in like futuristic worlds is always so depressing but this is the complete opposite because it is literally like a healed world it is really heartwarming and as i said it's just literally the comfort and i love that and that is also the reason why i gave this book five stars as well it just the comfort the coziness i love it i mean because it's in utopia it's also kind of like reflecting on the world that we live in today and it is kind of like commenting on that in a way it's not really actively well it is anyways i just wanted to say that i love this book i hope you got that i love this book and we're gonna move on to the next book i feel energized filming this i feel great also this time i have a little note sheets of like the things that i want to talk about because the other times i did not have that and it was really exhausting i think but now that i have like literally like a presentation going on i love it <laughs> i love the structure i hope maybe you also recognize that i'm more structured in a way the next book is pew it is really short but it took me like two weeks or more to read this because i was sick and mentally not doing well so i kind of left it on my nightstand getting dusty but i loved it i gave it five stars as a little spoiler i loved it <laughs> so in pew we don't know anything about the main character we don't know anything about them we don't know what gender we don't know what race we don't know what age we don't know where they come from we don't know why they're there we don't know why they don't speak or i mean they communicate in like body language or like nodding i guess but they don't speak and it is really mysterious and the whole time we're like what is this person doing in the beginning of the book the mysterious person sleeps in a church and the church members see this person it's a stranger in their conservative church area i don't know anything i literally have no clue how i, how I can describe it and that it sounds interesting because it, it was i loved it okay so the town folk call this person pew and they want to uncover who this person is you know they don't know anything about it and that was so interesting and i loved how we could just get to know all these different town members and church members and how they react to the stranger who suddenly appears in their town it is slow paced though so if you don't like a book where nothing really like plot wisey is happening this book is not for you but if you like a book that is really interestingly written and you're constantly wondering okay who is this person then i would really recommend it i really love the way it was written like all these things here it's just like from paragraphs that i really liked the way they were written in it is reflective it is mysterious it is the kind of spooky that i like because i am really easily scared but this is the right way how i like things to be that doesn't make sense okay i just had to rearrange the camera but i'm back now and because it is placed in a conservative little town it also contains religious bigotry and like racism and transphobic stuff maybe look into that if that is triggering for you to read i really love the way it was written in and i don't know i think it deserves to get better and more attention keep in mind if you don't like something where you feel like nothing is happening or it's like a little bit more slower paced then this book is definitely not for you but if you like something just because it's interesting to read about you want to read the details of things and you don't really care that much about the plot then read this book <laughs> i give it five stars if i haven't mentioned that before i think i have the last audiobook that I listened to and the last book that I read in this month is called Gathering Moths, A Natural and Cultural History of Mosses. And this is written by an indigenous biologist or ecologist. 
I'm not really sure. I think biologists or like something like that. This book is about moss and I love moss. And so I really like this book. I learned a lot about moss. I have to say that not everything sticked in my brain, but like small little fun facts kind of sticked. And I really love that. I have more knowledge about moss now and I notice it more when I go outside. And I, I just love looking at moss and I'm so curious about it. Even though I literally don't know anything about moss besides like little parts that I learned in this book. And I really loved listening to the stories and learning how like stuff works, like biology stuff. I can't really rate this book based on like knowledge or scientific things but I can just rate how I liked it as someone who has no idea of anything and I give it five stars no I give it four stars I think yeah um, I give it four stars I really liked it it was really interesting and I am in love with Moss and I want to learn everything about Moss ma now Moss is so cool and I just love these like tiny little like facts about Moss you know I just love Moss that's all of the review of this book. It is interesting. I love Moss. I love Moss. And that is all that I can contribute to this book. Literally nothing. Just that I really appreciate the knowledge. It was fascinating. I loved it. Okay. So this was my little October. It's not October. I mean, it is October, but this is not October. <laughs> and we are at the end of the video. This is everything that I read in the month of September. I really like this month. I mean, I did not like the month, but I liked what I read or what I listened to. That was all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see each other next time. Also, before you go, drink some water or drink some water when this video is over. So this was the reading month of September. I hope you liked it. If so, please like this video, comment what you're reading right now or if you read anything of these books and drink your water. I hope you drank in the meantime while I was rambling around. Is it time to shave my head again? Mm, I don't know. I do not know. Anyways, that was all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please like it. Please comment. And we see each other next time. Bye bye.